Yeah, so, so we're first going to start off by asking, what would make you the most qualified candidate for this position? I'm not a career politician like my opponent. I understand what it is to make payroll and actually run a business, and I know how to balance a checkbook, which it seems like a lot of people in our government don't, don't know how to do these days. So I think that. If elected, what would the 37th District State Assembly seat mean to you? It would mean a lot. It's where I live. It's where I grew up. Pretty much almost everything. But it's also just one seat out of 80, and it's to help the entirety of California. This district covers parts of Ventura and Santa Barbara counties, which is a very diverse group of people with different backgrounds. How do you plan to represent all of them? I plan to listen to what the people have to say and make my decisions based on, off of that. I am not going there to be a bully pulpit. I'm going there to represent the people. Now, what would be your top priorities if elected? I would like to return California to constitutionalism. I think we have strayed away from that, and I believe that's the foundation of law and order in our country. That's one. Number two, I think California needs better financial, res needs to take care of the fin financial responsibilities a lot better. We are over a trillion dollars into pension debt, and it increases every single year. And third, we need to protect the police in our country, all over the country, but especially in California and in this district. They're the only ones protecting law and order from barbarism. And I believe that's very important. And how would you do that? By fully funding them. Don't allow any of this defund the police nonsense. Or at least I think it no it's nonsense. Now what steps would you take to help with the COVID-19 recovery, both economically and from a public health, health standpoint? Well, first of all, you need to open up the country. If you keep it closed, the businesses are going out of business regardless. You got to open it up, let people do, let people run commerce, let the, let them have their chance. From the public health perspective, if you are in danger and have a comorbidity, then you should protect yourself and don't make any mistakes. If you do not, I agree with some of the people saying you're probably safe. So it's all depending on your perspective. If you feel you are unsafe, then protect yourself. If you feel like you are safe, then you're fine. What would you like people to know about you? Well, I do not plan on ever being a career politician. <laughs> First of all, I just want to save California. And I look at the way it's going, and I, I don't agree with a lot of the things that are happening, and I hope to initiate some sort of change. And then, of course, if there's any other problem areas, I will try to fix those as well. Another thing, um, my family supports uh, Bernie on my mom's side and Donald Trump on my dad's side. So I get both spectrums of the political landscape. So I understand what both sides actually care about, and I will try to take those into consideration. What are two topics we haven't brought up yet that you would like to address? I would like to bring up the uh, ballot statements not coming out before the, uh, the ballots themselves. I think that's cheating not only me, but my opponent if he put one in, and anyone else, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, all of the school board members, I think that that's absolutely ridiculous, and I don't understand how that happened in Santa Barbara County. And Ventura County sent them out about maybe two weeks before the ballots went out. I don't see how you can mess up that badly. Um, well, another thing is right here. I'd like to bring up my opponent personally because he 
here is a open letter to the Sierra Club from the Lati United Latinos vote. It copies almost my entire my entire standard for running. They are I'm running against an elitist candidate who has already seen many manufacturing and oil jobs and and other facets of the economy leave leave his county mainly from laws that he put in and who does that hurt that hurts the poor people in the community and that hurts a lot of ethnic minorities and he says he cares about these people if you cared so much why do you force those jobs out answer that for me I think that's a horrible thing to do and you will have some answering to do to these people.